Hi, my name is Jess Meldrum from Keymetrics and welcome to today's episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. In today's episode, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a forecast version. This will be the first episode in a mini series which focuses on forecasting best practices for reporting. I'm going to navigate to the modelling page. From here, I'm going to select versions. To create a new plan version, we actually need to select an existing plan version to use the standard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of my budget versions and then I'm going to select create a new plan version. I'm going to call my version March FY21 forecast. I'm now going to scroll down to the options and set the start of plan to the 1st of March. I'm going to leave the end of plan to the entire year of FY21. What this is going to do is it's going to overlay the months prior to the 1st of March with actuals. Now I'm going to select save. What I have now is a forecast version for March which we can use for reporting. Here I have a report which is using my March forecast version. The issue we have here is that because we're overlaying the dates prior to the 1st of March with actuals, it's only actually relevant for March. What we could do next month is that we could update the forecast version, but this would mean that the version is overridden and we have no historic versions to compare against. Tune in for our next episode, which is where we will explore creating additional forecast versions and virtual versions. That's it for today's episode. As always, if you'd like to know more details or get further assistance, please reach out. Thanks and bye for now.